What is up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here and welcome to the last episode of Weekly Vibes. Yes, I'm sorry this is going to be the last episode for the series. It's been a really, really good and successful series in my opinion, apart from like the next, the last like episode is just repetitive shit. But I mean, I had a lot of comments including Sanj. Sanj comments and said, hey, like maybe even do like a monthly vibes if that makes sense and just include fits that you all throughout the entire month. And that's what I'm going to do, man. So I appreciate everyone, including Sanj, that commented and gave your opinions and, you know, stuff that I could do to make the channel better and make the videos a bit better for you guys to enjoy. And that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to do a monthly vibe series instead. And it's just going to feature outfits throughout the whole entire month of, let's say, September, which is going to come up soon. No point doing August because, like, you know, it's the last week of August. There's no point. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, man. So I really, really appreciate everyone with the support that I've had over the last six episodes or so. Like, it really means a lot. So, And if this is your first time watching Weekly Vibes, go ahead and binge watch the last six episodes, man. And before you do, like this video and subscribe. Because on Vidugo Vibes, I upload two videos every single week regarding menswear, you know, fashion, sneakers. Not so much sneakers, just, like, reviews of some stuff and, you know, Bit of bullshit here and there. So, you know, subscribe, join the gang, and stick around to the end for this big announcement I'm gonna make. You know, it's gonna involve the Underground Society gang gang, yeah, feel. If you wanna get involved in this channel, just stick around to the end. So let's get on to the video, dude. It's just gonna be a little bit more different. I'm just gonna sit here and go through every single outfit that I wore from last week because today's Monday and I wanna get this up by tonight. So let's get started. Beginning with the Monday fit, I didn't really do much apart from just go to uni, but it was like a semi like sunny day and I just didn't want to re really wear outerwear and just honestly just change it up completely and just wear like, you know, just a t-shirt. And also I need your opinion on the pants, but we'll get into that in a minute. So the t-shirt that I'm rocking is my Uniqlo oversized boxy tee in white. Thank you to Morgan, absolute fucking plug man. It plugged me like four to five all Uniqlo tees for 40% off. I really, really appreciate it. They're $19.95, man. They're the best beta tee for spring, summer coming now. They're a little bit more on the thicker side, but they do the job perfectly. I'll have a separate video soon regarding like what tees you can wear for the spring, summer that are just really affordable. I tucked that into my Elix. I didn't know that was pronounced like that, but um, yeah. It's the Elix and Fragment Collab roller coaster belt in silver. One and only belt that I wear and it's beautiful. I just love the way it sits. And love the way it just changes the whole outfit completely. But um, that's what I'm rocking with as an accessory. And the rings, obviously, I just wear on the daily. But um, the pants that I rocked were my Subi denim. The Van Winkles in the black rebel color. I haven't worn this denim in, I don't know, God. Like, it's probably been over a year since I've worn this denim. And I really wanted to change it for you guys. And I want your opinion. Is it too skinny or is it the right fit? Because, I mean, I think it fits pretty good. Because of the fact that my legs are getting a lot skinnier than what they used to be, and they're starting to fit a lot better than what they used to be. So you guys let me know, just a pair of subies, black denim, very skinny, very tapered towards the knee, and has that nice stacking effect. Pairing that up with my SLP Ranger boots, which just... Pfft. I just love the skinny denim and the boot combo. It works super well. It's effortless. Pairing that with the Elix belt and just the white tee, untucked or tucked, it doesn't matter. It'll still work. And it's effortless and someone like you easily could pull this shit off. So it's just a fit that I rocked, went straight to uni, super chill, went back home, just did whatever. Getting onto the Tuesday fit, it's kind of on the same vibe along with the fact that I'm not wearing outerwear because I want to be flowy. I want to be free like when I'm jotting down two hours worth of lecture notes. Like, so that Tuesday is really hard because it starts at 11 and I'm not a morning person at all. But yeah, this is the outfit that I pretty much rocked. I had to flex, man. I had to go with my Balenciaga tee, the basic tee in black, women's size large, whatever. Has that really exaggerated crop length and it just sits perfectly on my waist. Very exaggerated box fit. I think I already said that. And um, yeah, it's very nice tight neck collar. Nothing crazy. It's a very overpriced fucking t-shirt, I know. But I love it to death. I've rocked it so much. And it's still, you know, holding up fine for the time being. So that's the t-shirt that I rocked. And I changed it up completely on the bottoms. You haven't seen this combo before. I rocked my Rick Owens trousers, my drawstring trousers from 09. Very straight cut. I think they're more of like a polyester blend. So it's a lot more silky, a lot more smooth, a lot more drapey towards the actual bottom. Pairing that up with my Vans old school. It's going for just like that grandpa vibe pretty much. Just letting the sh um, actual pant sit over the shoe, giving that nice like kind of skater-esque vibe, but hinting up with a Balenciaga tee, it just throws off the fit completely, which is what I wanted to do. And I think it works really well. So that's the fit, just the Balenciaga tee, Rick Owen trousers, Vans, 
effortless, you know, anyone can do it really. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a fit that I, you know, I actually quite like. I like the fact that the actual gives off that grandpa-esque vibe with the whole straight car just flowing over the van, so something different. Getting on to the next day being Wednesday. I changed it up completely. I didn't want to wear any of this. I wanted to just, you know, show you something that I haven't worn before, and that was my Uniqlo turtleneck but it's a lot more thicker and I don't know if it's navy or black it's like literally right in between like you can tell this is navy but that's like it sits like right in the middle but I picked this up for $20 you guys will see it eventually on my August favorites monthly favorites that's coming up shortly I rocked that size large I tucked it in just because it's too long and it has that very harsh elastic bottom so it just tightens up a lot so the purpose is supposed to be tucked in so that's what I did Tucked that into my Rick Owen cropped drawstring trousers, my diaper pants that you guys fucking love so much. It just sits awkwardly when I stand like that, when I'm walking, it's no big deal and it's super cozy. So that's what I'm rocking with, a lot more higher waisted as well, just because I like that vibe. It makes my legs look a little bit longer because I'm a short dude. So pairing that with Uniqlo socks, I rocked my Gucci loafers, my horse bit loafers, that's what they're actually called, horse bit. I never knew that. $100 from fucking Japan. <laughs> fucking steals for days and I decided to rock that. Just have the black sock in between the pants and the shoe, just to not, you know, not show off my ankle. Because if it did, I mean, it does work. I mean, you guys have seen it on Instagram when I rocked my Uniqlo trousers and Gucci loafers. It's very summery when you show off your ankles kind of vibe. So just pairing that with black socks eliminates the whole summer aesthetic and goes for more winter vibe by having that turtleneck as well. So that was Wednesday's fit, semi like semi casual, but whole like you know Drake vibe. Even though Drake's a real shit artist. But <laughs> that turtleneck just really completes it, man, and it's 20 bucks. Like, it's crazy, crazy cheap. Last but not least, Friday's fit. <laughs> I went through all the weekly vibes, dude, to make sure that I didn't clash with anything. And I think it worked, to be honest, even though the t-shirt's the same. So the fit, my white Uniqlo t-shirt, I'm not wearing it now, you dickhead. The white boxy Uniqlo t-shirt that I just wore in the first fit, I needed that as a white base layout for the whole fit. So I had my um, Robert Geller flannel shirt that I bought from Japan, like my first trip, and I never fucking wore. It was brand new with tags. I just didn't wear it. It was too long and it's really tight in the arms, so you have to wear it with something over the top. But yeah, I decided to rock the my black overcoat from a Korean brand, Grand Finale or something like that, that Max actually sold to me and I appreciate it, dude, because it fits perfect. Like there's no buttons, it's just a basic, black overcoat, it's nothing crazy, it just has that nice elongated length and it pairs up really well with the flannel shirt having that really nice long length as well. So that's the top half, we're getting to the bottom half. Guys, now I've got to go with my Uniqlo women's trousers fam. I actually found them, I'm pretty sure, because the link I have isn't the quite, because I have everything down below in the links, like every single item or an, or, or an alternative. Fuck me dude. But these ones, I'm pretty sure I found them. So just make sure you have to go like, just go upper size to make sure the crotch fits fine. But this is the women's Uniqlo trousers that I've worn every single episode. I had to because can't go weekly vibes without it, dude. So I decided to rock that with black socks once again. And my common project, Achilles Low in the all white colorway. Pairing, you know, that white on white contrast works really well. The only problem is I don't know if the common project works in this last fit. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I think because of it's such a low cut and slim silhouette, I think it kind of just like mismatches the whole overcoat, shirt, t-shirt, trousers combo. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's probably just me, but. So those were my four fits. Comment down below which one you thought your favorite was, but don't go just yet because you guys want to know how to get featured on the channel. It's going to be very similar to Sanja's Get Rex series, which is like the best series on fucking YouTube, but I don't have two people to drill people. I don't have two people to drill bits with every single fucking fit. But, and it's very similar to Galaxy's like, uh, rate my outfit kind of thing, which is a really good series. But I'm gonna implement my twist on it and get the Underground Society involved. So if you wanna get featured, number one, go join Underground Society. And why? Because it's the biggest marketplace in Australia. It's over 70,000 members. You have shit flowing every single day on people want to sell stuff. And people sell stuff, basically it's all high beast items and a lot of high fashion garments as well, which is great. So you're going to want to join that. I'm going to open up a thread every single Monday night. And all you're going to do is comment down below your fits throughout the whole entire week. Comment one and I will go through and pick a handful of people that had the best fits and rate them out of 10 possibly. And maybe I might choose like the worst fits. I'm not sure because I don't want to feel like a prick to be honest. <laughs> 
I will feel like such a prick if I fucking drill a bad outfit, but you guys let me know if you want to have the worst outfits on there as well, but that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you guys do like this concept. I'm going to do it every single fortnight. So I'm going to do it for this week and then two weeks later, do it again. So that is the concept. That's the end of this series. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this series. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. It means the absolute world to me. And don't forget to subscribe because we're on the road to 10K. Like, I can taste it, dude. Like, we're so freaking close. So if you want to join the gang, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video, which is right there. I will see you guys in the next video on Vidugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.